All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Chronicle in Elden Ring. Um, last Chronicle, you heard my voice went absent in the last third, maybe last half of that video. That's because I have a new microphone, and I actually heard the little crackle in my headphone. It was a short crackle. Um, but I don't know if that was Windows, OBS, or the mic itself. I, I know that... I have streamed Destiny 2 for two hours and also played for an hour and a half or so with my brother on Destiny 2 and had no mic issues ever since then. So I think it's just a one-off anomaly uh, that was my misfortune to have it happen while I was recording. So uh, anyway, I think that's all cleared up now. Uh, we are here at the Scenic Isle right here. We are going to push time to nighttime, and there's a nighttime boss. That is right, uh, right next to this place for us to fight. It's a little bit, it's like north by northeast, I think is how you would say it. If this is northeast, this is north by northeast, I think. And uh, it's that little stack of ruins over there that we're gonna head to. This is a young death bird. Oof. Kidding me? He pecked me to death. Ah, uh, I was out of stamina. Shoot, he got me on the whip back. I don't know where he is.
Didn't have stamina, I think. Uh oh. Darn, I was trying to get into a position to take a potion. I think this time I'm just not going to take any chances and I'm going to pop my flask to help regenerate health. Frustration on top of frustration. Maybe I will lock him up and I'll just try and keep the target on the body. He's doing a decent job of playing keep away. I didn't like how that went, man. Felt like maybe locking on might have kept me out of range a little bit, because I was having a really hard time landing shots. I'm going to switch over to the pole arm and see what that does. into it again maybe try evasion buddy <laughs> you're you're an assassin you're supposed to evade
Uh, I think the daggers were doing better. kind of a six or a half dozen of the other. I need to lock on to him because he moves so much. But if I do lock on to him, at least the one time that I tried, he, uh, he really seemed to stay out of range. Like, just out of range. All right. I just use Reduvia's special ability a lot, a lot more liberally on that. Red Feathered Branch Sword. I forget what this does. Raises attack power when hit po hit points are low. Okay. All right, we got to fight another one of those during the course of maybe not my video, but Cowboy's video. Uh, and that one's a full grown. So, <laughs> that was just a preview, man. That was supposed to be warm up. Okay, guys. We are at the Academy Gate Town uh, Grace site. And if you haven't already, Hoslo is an NPC you can talk to. He's somewhere around this location. I, I'm pretty sure I've already talked to him. And then we're going to head up to here to get uh, grab a grace site next so I'm gonna be quiet and we'll probably put this on fast forward whenever in the post edit so I'll see you guys when I get to the grace site All right. 
right, here we are. That knocks out the next step, and so stand by, I'll find out what comes next. All right, well, we get to take on a full-grown death bird now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So, actually, to tell you the truth, what I want to do is level up if I can. I need 18,000. I was going to do mind for this fight. It's either vigor or it's arcane. We'll go Vigor. Okay, uh, I need to push time forward. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Having to cycle back between potions and stuff. Oh no, I have frostbite on me. Oh, get off of that, man. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. When I... I noticed he was loading up a little late in the game. The runes do make for a nice marker, though. Maybe we pick him up for that alone. God. Man, incredible. <laughs> I don't want to be up here.
Uh oh. Spite on me. Yeah. Ah, oh, darn it. Darn. That's pretty fancy. Man, I just was a little bit off on my rolls, just a touch late on a lot of those rolls. I was that low on health. I thought I had avoided everything. Oh, he pecked me twice. Yeah, and I think that did me in. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're gonna we're gonna save this dude for later because um I want to respec uh pretty badly, really. Now I I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that for a while because we're talking about getting all the way through the academy to do that. But, um, without respecting, I feel like I need to level up a lot, um, in order to get to where our character should be right now. We should be, we should have spells that we can use and stuff like that. I don't have any of that crap. So, uh, I'm going to put you on pause and we're just going to press on. All right, guys. Well, I just was watching the video and even Cowboy skips this guy right now. Uh, so what he does is he puts a marker down. And, uh, I use skull to mean that I've cleared a dungeon, so I need something else. Let's use sword for boss fight. Uh, actually. It'll go right there. Alright. That's a night boss. Okay, and uh, I'm going to put you back on pause, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, the next thing is an Ash of War. That is, I guess I'll pick these runes up so that they're not just on my map for all the way until I die next. Okay, we're going to come back down to the Academy Gate Town and come up to, I think it was here. Uh, it's somewhere, we're just going to ride this vector and I'll see it whenever it's a uh, Ash of War hanging from a, a roof.
Like it's it's the bottom side of a bridge within an archway. So I'll recognize it as soon as I see it. Okay, this is apparently difficult to hit. I'm gonna try a cross bolt. I don't have anything loaded. How do I, uh... Well, it says I have 73 bolts. Okay, so it's a matter of hitting the right. That wasn't it. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh my god. I got chase him down. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, it's for spears, I guess. I don't think I was able to get it on my last character either, for the same frickin' reason. I had to switch back to a weapon. I probably should have just gone to this guy. Um, yeah, that was stupid. Uh, I wonder if I can reset that. Okay, so we get another crack at it. What button did I end up pushing? There it is. Okay. Charge forth. And we're good to go now. Ah, that red glow, that's our winged insignia kicking in. And uh, our endurance talisman is also active. Okay, well, that might be beneficial to know in the future. Okay. So I'm going to post up right here and go check and see uh, how he progresses uh, in the next step. So stand by. Okay, this next part, we're going to do it in segments. Oh, I'm glad I came back just in time, man. Wow. So, let's see, how do I get in here? Maybe I should just kill these dudes. Yeah, let's, let's go pick a fight. I'm not quite in the right section. Oh, there's a piece of loot up there I didn't get. Am I able to hop up there now? No. Not quite. I gotta do it from the roof. From that roof. I think. Oh, uh, maybe over here. What are you holding? Arteria leaf. 
Well, alrighty then. Oh, here we go. What are you? Glenstone Craftsman's Cookbook, page four. All right, well, got some extra loot. Uh, we're wanting to go this way, I believe. Yeah. Let's see, come around here. And this is the spot. We're gonna come up on this side. Let's uh, try that again. We gotta get up on this uh, this dome. And then let people come to us. got a helm. Now we should be able to face this guy without him having the ability to turn us into a torch. What? I was locked on the wrong dude. Okay, now this guy. And from here, we're going to hop over this way. And did I see another dude over here? No. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, perimeter path. Did you have any loot? No. Okay, I think this is where I need to pause you and see what he does next, so stand by. Okay. Uh, so we gotta clear this area. The first clearing might not be too hard, uh, but then there's one of those fire truck things that that might actually prove to be difficult. So I think I am going to Call out my helper. I'm going to wait, actually. I'm not going to call that helper yet. Okay, you're down. Let's go. get away from this thing. Let's see if uh see if that resets some. 
because I want to put Lieutenant down. I can't see him. Oh. Oh, here he comes. Well, he can't follow me down here, and he can't shoot this far either. Okay. Let's get out here. Oh, it's the skeletal militiamen. My bad. I, I was really kind of hoping for Lieutenant there. Okay. Yeah, those those can be tricky. Okay, there should be a couple guys left. Let's go ahead and pop a potion. Three smithing stone. We'll grab the butterflies. Okay, now I think we have gotten everybody. Let me double check the perimeter. Oh, we got a brass shield. That's good to have in the inventory. Remember, this playthrough for me is really about trying to get my inventory to 100% so that in New Game Plus, I can turn this guy into whatever class that I want to. That's the overall goal. Okay, I have just under two minutes left in this recording session. I'm not sure. For me, that means an hour. I don't know how long it's going to be for you. This episode might be pretty short. But we're going to enter into the Academy, and I'm going to call it an episode. Because I think it sets us up. It's a good break point. There we go. So, uh, this episode, which is now over, was all about getting into the Academy. And the next episode will just cover going through the actual Academy itself. Which I think is one of the most magical, um, feeling moments of Elden Ring. The, the atmosphere of this Academy is really, really incredible. Uh, very gripping, in my opinion. It really pulls you into the world. That's my take, you know? So, uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and do the sign-off. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. More importantly, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode where the story continues.